shall now vote for approval of H.R. 8791, the Homeland Terrorism Preparedness Bill. The said bill requests emergency response funding up to and including, uh, I'm sorry, this section is classified, uh, dollars to prepare for national level terrorist attack and or attack from classified. Funding for first responder personnel and vehicles would be doubled if said attack leads to more than 80% of national population being affected by classified. This funding shall commence in conjunction with the first attack on um, classified or the first large-scale outbreak of classified dependent upon which comes first. Civilian and military units shall be trained in containment and combat of classified, including irradiated classified with possibility of classified airborne, classified flesh eating, classified and or all of the above in such event as classified spewing, classified escape are released or otherwise become uncontrollable. Air Force units may also be directed to combat said classified due to their enormous size and otherworldly strengths. Should event occur in urban areas that's classified, far surpassing our darkest nightmares, should casualties uh, exceed classified body disposal actions, shall be halted and associated resources shall be reallocated to classified underground, classified protected birthing centers. A uh, new Bill of Rights shall be drafted and approved by classified. A uh, new Bill of Rights shall be drafted and approved by classified. A uh, new Bill of Rights shall be drafted and approved by classified. Having now reviewed the bill, I ask you to please cast your votes. That's what I called. No, thank you. Well, I just want to mention, because you're on the air, because I wouldn't want to be, oh, oh God, after all, the FBI is recording this conversation. Um, uh, I, I'm just calling, uh, you're on the air now, uh, of course, you cannot call the White House and probably get to somebody, although I have actually done this and got through, and I guess maybe what I've said and posted is working. Folks aren't able to get through because the phone lines are clogged, but we're going to sit here. I'm going to just wait. We'll, we'll just keep going. Hopefully we'll get through to somebody. It's so funny because Clinton passed this law in 1996, the uh, Telecommunications Act. So right now, my cell phone, they're tracking it right now if they want to. They triangulate the, uh, the frequency by law. Every cell phone on September, uh, excuse me, October 2001 had to comply. Yes, this is uh, Howard Nima calling, and you're actually from on the air with InformRadio.com. Just calling to, uh, uh, really with a, a, a tremendous amount of protest against the National Defense Authorization Bill 1867, and just urging the president to uh, veto the bill, which uh, which basically turns the American people into into criminals. Uh, it's you know it's like a fascist type situ situation. We've got, in fact, personally feeling that we should absolutely have these. Uh, these uh, senators that voted for this bill, they should be impeached. This is, this is, a, this is out of control. The government is, is, is just out of control. Uh, and I just want to voice my opinion uh, as an American. And uh, again, just uh, urge the president to quickly f just say, this is done. Because this is, we, we, can't, we can't allow our country to, to, to fall to, to the tyranny of these criminal bankers that's hijacked so many interests that are so important to every single one of us, including yourself, uh, ma'am, and uh, I implore the president to just please uh, veto that bill on behalf of my listeners and behalf of myself. And um, God bless America. Thank you, Thank you. That's the White House. Okay, do it. See what I just did? Do it. Doesn't take long. 
do it. They're getting a lot of calls. Do it. Don't be afraid of being a terrorist. Don't be afraid of being pulled out of, being pulled out of your house. Don't be afraid of the federal government coming to your door in black suits with dark glasses pulling you away. Like when Larry P. McDonald was saying, slowly moving to the left. Now we're speeding to the left towards communism and fascism uh, with this endless war, military-industrial complex. It's a big problem. So Rand Paul uh, has introduced legislation to block these provisions in the uh, appropriations bill. Thank the Lord. We have liberty people like Rand Paul, who's young, and Ron Paul, who's running for president. Of course, obviously a threat to the establishment. Some people feel that he's a threat to the, to the, to the world as well. Um, but I don't know. I've never seen anybody that voted for uh, liberty every time and never voted for, for all of this criminal activity and voted against all these wars and uh, never took any, um, you know, bad deals or did any, was involved in any of this scandalous corruption. So I, 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 I judge a man by his actions, not by, not by what other people think of him. And, and really, it's that, that's what everybody should be done. Your record really is the truth. Um, you know, people like Clinton, you know, and they say, oh, no, well, that, oh that's the people that hate him. Or the, or the people that don't like President Obama, same thing. You know, it, it's, it's just, it's not really true. Uh, if there are skeletons, there are skeletons, period, okay? If there aren't, what are they going to do? Say that, you're, you're, that you have no chance of winning, that you can't win, that you can't do anything, that it's a joke, that you're radical, blah, blah, blah. Like me, I'm radical. Yes, I'm a radical. I'm a liberal. Hello, this is Senator Joe Lieberman. If you've got a comment or suggestion you'd like to share <laughs> I'm going to give him a voicemail. Please share your thoughts with me following the beep. If you'd like a, res a response, uh, leave your name, your email address, and your complete mailing address. Thanks very much. Senator Lieberman, my name is Howard Nima. I am a Connecticut resident and um, absolutely appalled uh, by the legislation that you, uh, that you covered here. I'm a, uh, you know, I don't know what to say to you, sir, other than... You know, in a dignified way, you know, this is, this is America. We have to be a constitutional government. We cannot incarcerate Americans without due process. We cannot uh, allow our, our nation to be uh, turned into a fascist dictatorship run by corporate and uh, banking interests, sir. So with all due respect, yes, I would love to speak with you. In fact, you're live on the air here. Uh, this message is live on the air. And uh, you're listening to informedradio.com. I, see something, I see something, and I say something. I see corporate greed. I see uh, a lot of, uh, of cronyism. And I know that you're retiring, sir, so why don't you retire on a good note and um, stop supporting the New World Order's crusade to destroy America and do the right thing. Reach us back. Call us. 772-905-3018. There's a need for a New World Order. Someday, in the next few years, a solution will emerge. We are exchange with host Howard Nima, exposing the collectivist global elite's Malthusian quest for a new world order. A one world dictatorial government where all aspects of human life are under their control. Truth Talk Radio, where news the mainstream media ignores is the top story and your voice is heard. We are change. Fridays from 1 to 3 p.m. and Saturdays from 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Hosted by Howard Nima. Only on informedradio.com. That's N F O R M D radio.com. Tune in, call in. We must be the change we wish to see in the world. 
We are Change with Howard Nima. Every Friday, 1 to 3 p.m. and every Saturday, 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Only on NFORMDRadio.com. That's We Are Change with Howard Nima. Fridays, 1 to 3 p.m. and Saturdays, 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Only on InformedRadio.com.